was a tough uh, game tonight with a physical team. Uh, what did you learn about your team tonight? I mean, we just continued to mature. Another hostile environment. Not the best start. Made a lot of early mistakes, but we just continue to fight through that. Halftime, make great adjustments, and come out and finish strong second half. What do you think you need to improve on to be able to uh, compete for the region championship? We got we got a bunch of big games coming up. We can't can't be satisfied. Got to keep working, in practice. Go back home next week. So that's gonna be good. But we gotta gotta keep finding our shot offensively. Sam, it was a, it was a hard, tough game. Um, tell me about that last uh, onside kick return. When did you decide? You know what? I'm gonna take this thing. Uh, the ball just came to me. I looked in front of me, and there was nobody there, so I just started running. Uh, was it a little frustrating they, that uh, they were getting pressure on Jackson? You were open at times, but not able to get the ball. Uh, it was a little bit frustrating here and there, but we're fixing our mistakes. We're gonna come back better next week. Uh, you know, I'm so proud of my guys and how we stepped up and just did our assignments full speed and. Uh, we we have physical them the best of our ability and we just did our job full speed and I think that's what uh, was a big uh, big game changer. Turnovers were big. You were able to cup, to uh, get a couple fumbles. Uh, how, how does that happen out there? Uh, it was a great job by my teammates and uh, getting a good hit when the quarterback just had the ball loose and uh, I give the credit to them and the ball was on the ground and I was just able to make a play on it. Yeah, man, I tell you. It's been such a hard week. I mean, every week's a hard week of preparation, but with this team, you know, if, if you fall asleep on the backside, they're going to hurt you, you know, and if your eyes are looking at the wrong thing, they're going to cut you. And um, so as a defensive coach, man, I'm all about it, man. we we got to be right. You can't afford to be wrong, you know. And So coming out on top, I feel like I could finally breathe. I was on edge the whole game. And to me, no lead is a safe lead with a bunch like this. And and then defensively, they play so hard, and um, and they're right where they need to be. So I felt like our guys, you know, they did what they needed to do. Another uh, fourth quarter. It seems like you guys were fresher. So yes, you, sir. You, out, you, you sort of uh, caught them. They 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 were kind of wilting there in the fourth quarter. Yes, sir. I mean, we, we pride ourselves on, on being able to push our guys. We pride ourselves on being able to play one way so that we're fresh. And uh, so we just got to be able to keep that up. You know, that's something that I think that coaches need to be doing with their teams for safety reasons just to you know cut down the number of reps a kid gets and just let them play fresher you get hurt when you're tired how proud are you proud are you of uh, a couple of young guys um huck and um i can't remember five. reed mills I, i'm sorry uh, michael mills yeah um very proud of huck and, and michael mills i mean those guys they step up uh james richmond stepped in on defense a whole host of them there were so many of them in there toward the end uh, you know, our young guys, uh, they do a great job down there on the middle school with uh, Coach Hendricks. And so when they come up here with us, it's a seamless, seamless transition.